What's up everyone? This is Jalay. Welcome back to another video. In my last video, I showed you guys how to lower the temperature of your Ryzen processor by undervolting it with Ryzen Master. By following those steps, you will find a stable setting for your core clock speed and peak core voltage. Now the problem with Ryzen Master is that every time you switch on your system, you will have to manually apply those settings for your processor to be able to perform accordingly. To mitigate that, in this video, I will show you guys how to apply those settings in the BIOS so you don't need to do it every time via Ryzen Master. But first, let me run Cinemage R20 with the Underworld settings and note down the score so that we can compare it with after BIOS changes to confirm that the BIOS changes were successful. Now let's restart the system and get into BIOS. Once you are in, navigate to the overclocking settings. Here, find the option called CPU Ratio Apply Mode and keep it to all core as whatever clock speed we set here, we want it to be applied to all the cores. Next, set the core clock speed that you found in Ryzen Master in the CPU Ratio which in my case was 4.2 GHz. Once that's done, find the option called Core Voltage and select Override Mode to be able to insert the exact voltage. Here, insert the peak core voltage that you found in Ryzen Master which is 1.1375 volts for me. If you have an MSI motherboard, you will find them on these exact same locations. Even if you have a different motherboard, these options are pretty standard and should be fairly easy to locate under overclocking settings. Once done, press F10 or relevant key to save the changes and boot into Windows. Now to make sure that undervolting actually took place, let's run Cinemage R20 once again and observe the processor's core voltage which should not exceed the peak core voltage we set in the BIOS. Also, the score of Cinemage R20 should be similar to that of the previous score. In my case, the score was much better. So we can conclude that the undervolting in the BIOS is a success. Anyway, that's been it. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more PC related content. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.